So my guys, Rusty with Great Shift. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick rundown of what's going on with the E-Ride R&D side. Um, we have a bunch of samples on the way. I'm going to blast off all the parts real quick. Um, we have our two-way adjustable screen mount. We have our adjustable linkage and triangle, and that'll be ride height adjustable on the triangle. Our skid plate, that was, that's 3D printed version, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. We will have restock of the 420 primary drives this week, so those will be in the stock. We have chromoly axles, jack shaft, and suspension hardware on the way. We also have our nifty foot peg brackets. This is something we just got tired of waiting on. Normally other guys do it, but we decided to do our own because this was a major pain point that I found that you can't get your triangle bolts out with the stock ones and trail side takes way too long to get the belt off or on or chain if you have an issue. So let's give ourselves some access. We do a lot with the R&D side behind the scenes. It takes a long time to actually test these products. We CAD everything. We simulate all the scenarios we think we can. We do static, dynamic, static and dynamic stress testing. But the longest part, honestly, is the time from which we get the metal parts in our hands to the time we actually release them. That's the time for us to ride and absolutely destroy the bikes. Our goal is to try to break it, flat out, literally. Bullet has taken the Teleria when we first launched it and bounced it off rocks just to prove, try to prove to me that he could break the skid plate. We do everything we can to make sure everything's dialed in from the time of release. So, will be a while till you start seeing these on the website live and active from the time you start seeing them on our bikes. But that's the process we got to do to ensure that you don't have any issues once you receive yours. So, we also have a couple of goodies over on my bike over here that I'll get into now. Did do a quick test fit on a KTM 85 front fork. This is not gonna be the final version, final stack height, any of that. I actually used some existing cups we had laying around, but we do have the sample on the way to do final fit and finish with that. And we also got the goodie right here, the EVMX 9000. This one is obviously one that didn't include all the things for install. This was just a rush set up so that way we could start testing with it. So it's basically just the S9000 and a wiring harness. It will also include in your guys' kit, mounting brackets, skid plate. The stock skid plates will fit, but you do have to cut them. So yours will include a skid plate that will not need cut. But if for some reason you have one off another bike and just want to replace the harness, you can cut it. Um, Bullet rode the bike all last weekend. I have it tuned on the low mode around 10 kilowatts, high mode around 15. Luckily, we didn't see any issues with overheating or any glitches where the bike wanted to shut off. It was just rock solid all weekend. It actually has some of the best throttle feel we've had on pretty much any of our bikes. So really, really happy with that, especially considering Florida, Summer, and Sugar Sand. Pretty much the three worst combinations for an overheating bike. So some exciting updates coming. Stay tuned. We'll keep updating throughout the process.